Hello, thanks for visiting. Today we're going to show you guys how to punch down keystone jacks. We have a couple different style of jacks here. We have the horizontal straight across jack that we're going to use a 110 tool on. Uh, a lot of contractors like the straight across style because they say it's a little easier, a little faster to uh, lace down your pairs. And then we have the kind of a narrower uh, two vertical type 110s here. Uh, this jack here might benefit you better on decor of face plates and also their those high density patch panels because they're more narrow than the than this other one here. You're going to be able to squeeze a lot more of them next together in a patch panel or those those face plates where you got to really jam them right next to one another. So let's go ahead and get started. I got a piece of cable here. This is Cat 6 cable. Let's go ahead and strip a piece off. Um, as you can tell, the conductors are uh, tightly wound a little more than the Cat 5. We got a pull string here. We're going to go ahead and just cut that off. The Cat 6 cable, usually when you find a good quality Cat 6 cable, you're going to get a nice separator here that's going to uh, definitely help out with your test results when you put your fluke tester on there for the near end, the far end cross talk, and all that other good stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and cut that off. And now let's go ahead and uh, lace one of these jacks now. Now, most jacks nowadays include a color code. And the most common wiring scheme is 568B. So that's what we're going to do with this jack here. Uh, we're going to start off with the orange, and then the blue, and then the green, and then the brown. Uh, another thing about jacks, usually when you get a good quality jack, you'll find that they have kind of these peaks on here that help separate the conductors when you go to lace down your cable. Instead of lacing, instead of undoing the entire pair, you can just start a little further down, separate it a little bit, and then squeeze it in. That pointy peak will help you lace that cable in a lot easier. So now let's go ahead and do the blue. And then we'll go ahead and do the green. And then the brown. Okay. Now keep in mind that you're always going to want to keep the jacket as close in to the to the jack as possible. We don't want uh, a lot exposed here. It'll help you out with your test results and um, it'll help out with the jack as far as uh, connectivity, that sort of thing. Uh, let's go ahead and punch down the jack. We have a 110 tool. Actually, this is a punch down tool, but we have a 110 blade on it. Now, if you can tell, we have kind of a more of a pointy peak on one end here. Now, on this end, we're going to want to go ahead and make sure this is on the the uh, the end of the cable. We're going to want to point it in there, and we're going to want to go ahead and give it a quick punch down. And the the pointy end of the tool will go ahead and cut your conductor off. Now, one of the things I see a lot of contractors do, you don't want to do this, is you put your your jack in and you use your I've seen guys cut their hands that way and you don't want to use a wall to put the jack on or to punch down. You'll get the markings indented on drywall. It's just one of those little things. You're going to want to find a what we call a palm tool and this has uh, certain slots here where you can attach different type of jacks into. Yeah, let's go ahead and find out where this one ties in. There we go. I'm going to hold it in just like that, and we're going to go ahead and punch down the rest of the pairs here. Just a lot safer. Saves you from going to the hospital. So, we did all the uh, pairs. Sometimes you'll get a conductor or pair where it just didn't cut through all the way. So we're going to want to go ahead and just give it another extra little punch, and that should take care of that. So this would be your 110 punch down style with the palm tool. Now let's go ahead and show you this other jack. Now there are certain jacks on the market. For example, this one's called the quick jack to where 
we can use a tool that will terminate and cut all the pairs for you at the same time plus it'll hold the jack in there to where you won't need a palm tool you won't need your hand you won't need a wall so let's go ahead and uh, wire one of these up and I'll show you how that how that one works I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the pull string again do the same thing of this center conductor here because it's cat six now let's go ahead and wire up the jack this is 568b it's going to have the color code on it again now let's start off with the orange now we're going to do the blue over here next Do the uh, green. Now, as I mentioned before, these jacks have a nice pointy peak here that helps you separate the conductors a little better than those lower end jacks that are flat. And then you got to undo. It's, it's just a little labor saver for you. Let's go ahead. Nice and brown. A little slow here. I don't do this too many of these for a living most of my customers do um, so we're gonna go ahead and slide the tool the jack into the tool and give you a quick demo of what it looks like when it's all punched down slides in there we're gonna give it a squeeze pull it out and there we go it cut and terminate all the pairs at the same time. It's faster, it's a labor saver. If you have a ton of jacks to terminate, this will help you out big time. So questions, call us 888-797-3697.